podcast. Well, thank you so much, Tracy and Anson and Marlena. Can you hear me? Marlena? Okay, well, she put her picture up there, but I will definitely be able to get in contact with Zakaya because Marlena knows her. She's her neighbor. But the question that I have, it kind of spills over from the question that we just had. Do spending quality time face-to-face -face with your partner make you grow more in love with that individual? Is there anyone that would like to chime in and tell me if that's a true statement or is it kind of wishy-washy? Go on, Tracy, you got that hand up again, girl. Give it to me. Or was it just up from the last question? You know, I, I think it was up for the last one, but that just le leads a little bit into my energy. I'm an extroverted person. You probably can clearly hear it in my voice inflection. And face-to-face -face time is important. Like you can feel someone's, I can anyway, someone's efforts. You can feel their electricity. You can feel their energy. And I think face-to-face -face with like deep eye contact is, is unparalleled. So I definitely think that there's value in doing face-to-face -face while you're in a relationship. Now, now um, I'll try to find the way to unraise my hand. But then it won't Don't work. worry about it. Don't worry about it because you got some <laughs> good you. answers. I'm going Thank to slow roll on over to Miss Millie from Miss Millie. I'm going to bring it on back to Chocolate Pearl. And then from Chocolate Pearl, you know, I'm going to get a little answer and then I'm going to bring it on home with Dr. Feelgood. Okay. So go ahead, Miss Millie, and tell me, does spending quality time face-to-face -face make you grow stronger for your partner? Do you get more in love with that partner when you're with them face to face. Yes, I think you get more in love and more in tune with your partner when you're face to face, because see, I can hide things when somebody's not around me. Well, if you ain't looking at my face, if I'm talking to you on the phone, I can hide things from you if you don't truly know me. I can hide a lot. But if you truly know me, even through my voice, you'll know if I'm all right or not. But if I'm face to face, my face express everything that I'm feeling. If you know me, my face gonna let you know my true feelings. You ain't gonna have to wonder about it. So I think by interacting and being face to face, you get to know your partner better. You feel them, they feel you. You can see their emotion in a drill and running. You can watch their reaction to you. You can tell if you walk a certain way, if they're paying you any attention or you do like they did on that movie. What that movie was, she looked back. Oh, he looking. You can feel all that. <laughs> You can that feel was what, all that. That was that movie where they burned that man. Yeah, where she threw all the clothes oh. out there and burned them up. Yeah, that, that part. Yeah. I, I can't Waiting remember the exhale. name of the movie. What's the name of it? Waiting to exhale. That's it. Waiting that, to yeah. exhale. That's but you right. Know, I remember burning them clothes. Yes, I did. <laughs> mm -hmm. But you can feel, you really can feel your partner when you're in the same room. The energy is just electrifying. I can tell when I'm in the room with my significant other because, baby, it's times where you, you think you're going to sit down and have a long conversation. It ain't going to happen. Yeah, ain't gonna have because that energy is so deep and you're so in tune with each other that other things is gonna go on and other things are gonna happen and you can feel it. But on the phone, you're just wishing and hoping on a on a what do you call it on a wishing prayer or eating a wish sandwich, mm -hmm. wishing it was more. So okay, yeah. all right. So with that being said, Miss Millie. I'm going to take it that you're not into the more long distance relationship. You got to feel it, see it, and touch it. Yeah, boy, Ooh, the last child. relationship I was in, he mm -hmm. was two hours away. It worked for years. He said it still worked, but I told him the devil is a liar because somebody finna get his chocolate thunder. Woo! Uh, That's what I'm talking I'm about. That's what I'm talking about, Miss Millie. Hey. Okay, <laughs> chocolate. Pearl. I see I, I have another hand, but I'm going to get to you. Um, Chocolate Pearl, go ahead and give me what you got. Billy said everything that I wanted to say. I mean, almost verbatim. All um, right. I, I do think she did say something that wasn't a part of the question, but I do think that there are a lot of long distance relationships that can work um, if you put the, the work in. Any relationship you have, you have to put work in. And I already discussed that with y'all before. But mm -hmm. um, I agree with her that that face to face situation, say for instance, if you're dating a truck driver who mm. drives long distance and you can have a, I know a lot of people who have a long loving relationship with truck drivers who are gone on a regular basis. But when they come back, that chemistry, especially if you were communicating with that person.
person throughout the month or throughout the time that they was gone mm -hmm. verbally and, and gave them that long distance foreplay communication, if you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. and keeping them focused. So when they come, the thrill is like so strong. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, your chemistry. Cafe okay, Pearl, are you saying you didn't talk to the people that almost run off the road from that conversation? <laughs> Ooh, chocolate pearl, Look, you better stop. I told my brother not to tell my business. Don't tell my business now. <laughs> I, I'm on my on her hush. Okay, okay. All but right. You know what I'm saying okay. is the fact that you know you can have a, a good relationship, but you have to have that that communication. And when you see that person come together, it's mm. just explosive because you still had that communication together. But if you don't have that communication while that person's gone, and then when you get to them, especially like when Miss Billy said, when somebody's in the other room and that person coming to the, to the room with you, y'all feel that chemistry? Ain't no talking then. None. Ain't no verbal talking then. So it, it's just the fact that you, it can work out, but you, you do need both. You do need both. Okay. Well, I thank you, Chocolate Pearl Girl. I know how to drive them off the road, too. Mm. <laughs> Anywho, um, come on, Anson. Give me what you got. All right. Can you repeat the question for me so I can have a clear thought on it? Oh, Anson. Does spending quality time face-to-face -face with your partner make you grow more in love with that partner? Yes. I am... Uh... <clears throat> now that sounds like a strong yes answer. Yes, it's a very strong yes. Okay. My love language is quality time. All right now. We 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 me and you have that in common. And uh quality time solidifies the relationship. And I'm not just talking about sexually. I'm talking about okay. just I mean, because right now we all have a relationship on this on this uh zoom call right we all know each other mm -hmm. we all have a good friendship but <clears throat> we can't get off the zoom call and see each other mm. you know what i mean like i can't say hey miss millie i'm gonna I'm a link up with you tomorrow oh you know, hey dr feel good what you doing friday you know what i mean like i'll be close to you soon oh okay <laughs> what about if you what about if you settle with somebody that doesn't like to do that well i mean it would be just like what we're doing right now <laughs> is that really a relationship or is it just a friendship mm. good point you know what I mean? like like that so a relationship is solidified with quality time you know okay like yeah, a person may not like quality time, but is it really a relationship if you can't spend any time with this person? But are you still person? gonna are you still gonna settle with that though? Still gonna settle with what? Being in that relationship. Because you said earlier, I'm not trying to come down on you, but you said earlier you can't change a person. You gotta look at who they are. Correct? Yeah, but it's, it's not a relationship. In my eyes. We won't so be you don't you can't settle. No, it won't be a settle in that situation because I choose not to settle for that. You know, and what you're saying is yeah. that you're gonna bring what you want to the table up front. And if they don't have what you're asking for or what you actually want, then you're not settling for it no way. Is that what you're saying, Anson? I mean, for the most part, because in order to get to a relationship, you have to have things that you desire checked off, right? Okay, and something so, in common, okay. Right, so if I meet someone and we're a long distance away and we're conversating, we're talking and, you know, might have video chat and all that stuff, but nowhere in the near future can we do that. It doesn't really make sense to foresee or, or to forego a relationship with that person. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, Anson. 
I'm going to, I'm going to hold off on you, Dr. Feelgood. Um, let me see. Is that Shaniqua? Is that the way you pronounce it? Yes. That's that's it. It. Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm waiting. You had your hand raised. Yes. Hi, everybody. Okay. I've been married Hello. for 19 years and we've been together for 24 years. As far as spending time together, <laughs> I say in the beginning of a relationship, of course, you need to spend time with someone to figure out if you like them or not. So that's a given. But if you end them years together, you need a minute. <laughs> too much time is not too good sometimes. You need a break. Just look at the pandemic. How many people got divorced because of the pandemic? <laughs> Who is this person? <laughs> it's just too much. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> if you're in a relationship for a very long time, you need a minute. You need a minute away, even if it's for a day, even if it's just for a few hours, just away, away from that person, or just not speaking to that person in another room. You need a minute. You can't be in each other's face all the time. It's just not healthy. So yeah, absence makes some heart grow fonder. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. You need to have an activity. You need to go out with your friend. You need to have a whole nother life. <laughs> okay. Well, I can take your point of view with that. Um, some people have that feeling then. Some people just can't get enough. You remember that song? I think that was by Barry White. That might be before your time, honey. Can't get enough of your little baby. So that, that might be a little, ooh, I'm telling my age, get children. Enough. I'm telling my age. Okay, all right. Um, but thank you so much for that. And I'm going to go on over to Dr. Feelgood. Hey, it's a family affair on here. Most of my family's on here, so you know. I see, I see. Brain cousin them, I understand. Hey, but what I'm saying is familiarity brings, breeds contempt. So if you're doing everything together, after a while, you're going to get tired of each other. That's why you got to have something outside your your partner in order, in order because what y'all going to talk about, if y'all do everything, if y'all doing everything together, what y'all going to talk about? Mm. So, Yes, it's good to have common interests. Like if you want to go to the swing club every once in a while, we talked about a relationship about three weeks ago, you want to just chill and hit the movies, that's good too. But if you're doing everything together, you're going to, you're going to not stand each other because you got to have, you have a life together, but you still got to have your little things that you like to do yourself because you don't like everything your partner does. Have to speak. Say if, if you if you say that you are a break in it. I a rough. Not R, but R rough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there's some things the that I like that my partner don't like. And there's something my partner that my partner don't like that I love. But that was that's what helps you grow together. You tolerate it, but you don't you don't have to like it. And you ain't necessarily got to tell them that, but you got to do what you got to do in order to make the relationship work. So yes, you should be able to spend some quality time because qual it's not the quantity per se, but it's the quality. What are y'all doing when y'all together? Are y'all being, uh, are y'all just looking at each other, looking like, like y'all speaking to something? Or are y'all just, are y'all having deep conversations or even shallow conversations? What are y'all doing with y'all together? That's the important thing because I should be, I should have a good understanding and good feeling when I'm with you. Mm -hmm. And okay. if I can't do that, then why am I with you? Mm. Well, I got gotcha. you. Gotcha. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Feelgood. Now, I know I got some hands raised, but Bert and Bill was trying to give us some combo. Wow, feel good was talking. So Burton, would you like to go ahead and share what you was trying to say? Are you there, Burton? That's my brother. I guess that's your brother. Well, <laughs> feel good. You better tell your brother to stop acting like he mute and go on and say what he got to say. <laughs> okay, because I bring him on out. That's what I'll do. But anyway, nevertheless, I'm gonna rise on up to Miss Millie. You got your hand up, Miss Millie. Yeah, when I when I had made the um 
mentioned that when somebody really know you, they know if you're good, bad, or indifferent. They know if you're feeling well or not. Because see, people, you can put on that smile. You can put on a front when people really don't know you. Because see, I'm on here tonight. And a lot of y'all don't know that I had some tragic news tonight. But you, by looking at me, you just don't know it. But if you were my man, you would know that I'm not my best because of the news I got. But because you don't know me on a personal level like that, you won't know it if you just see me sitting here. Okay, well, whatever it is, Miss Millie, trust God, it'll be okay. Oh, it's good. My aunt, she passed away. I told y'all about it. She's 97 years old, but okay. it's still here. But I'm good with it. But see, if somebody really, really know me, they could even just look and see the difference in my action and would know something is different. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to go over to Ms. Brian. She has her hand up. Um, getting back to spending quality time. I think, like I said, relationships are dynamic. And I think initially you need to kind of like spend that time to get to know each other and do those things that they like to do and do the compromising and all that thing. But as the relationship progresses, and I feel like all relationships, you are going to have your time with your partner and then you're going to have your time where you do stuff with other friends and other people, but I think it's a balance. And I think initially you're doing more of the together time so that you can get to know each other. And then once you've kind of built up like a comfort level, knowing who that person is and how they move and react and interact, I think then there's always times within there to break off and do things with others and on your own and you're always going to have, I feel like a balance is always a balance, just like a work-life balance. It's also like a relationship balance. So I feel like you're going to need to, and I feel like it's always changing. Sometimes initially, I feel like you need more quality time than you do later on or as the relationship progresses. Okay. Well, thank you so much. And I'm going to go over now to Mr. Malik. Thank you, Dr. Felder. So uh, I can, Miss. uh, the young lady just got off. What's her name again? Miss Brian. Miss Brian, yeah. I can uh, see Miss Brian. I can oh. see Miss Brian's point. I can see Dr. Feelgood's point. Uh, Dr. Feelgood basically, he he feels like, uh, and I always had a slogan like this, you know, the more we have in common, the less we have. So it's important, uh, like when I was, you know, in the dating scene real heavy, I always wanted to get with somebody who we didn't have a lot in common. Uh, that way we, like uh, First Curl say, you don't get bored. You know, I never rode a horse, but guess what? I met somebody who do. Now we can go horseback riding. So the more you have in common, one of my slogans, the less you have. Now go back to the other lady just got off. I feel like, like she said, it's about um, having a balance, which is my zodiac sign. I'm a Libra. So I always, always try to balance things off like that to, uh, it's always a give and a take, you know what I mean, so to make things work. So I can see both sides of the, the agendas with that. Uh, but going back to the main thing, which face to face, I think it's important to have that face to face. But I agree with the other lady too. I don't like to get smothered. And being my companion don't mean you got to smother me. Let me breathe, and I'm gonna let you breathe. That way we can still, when we get back together, hey, it's like the Fourth of July, baby. Number five works. You feel me? All right. I got you. I understand. Assignment. Okay. Well, I'm going to move on to my very next question. Now, you know, I had to throw some dirt in there. I had to get a little dirt. Okay. The question is, are you willing to forgive your partner of wrongdoing dealing with an opposite sex friend? Miss Millie, we talking about this. Are you willing to forgive your partner of wrongdoings dealing with an opposite sex friend or do you plot a revengeful retaliation and just get them where they hurt? Tell me what you're thinking. I need to know. Anybody, somebody, everybody. All right, Chocolate Pearl, I'm ready for you. I'm ready. I'm sorry. I tend to watch divorce court and paternity court and all the other courts that got a, this baby mama drama. Um, <laughs> two make a right. You can forgive 
but two wrongs don't make a right. There's a lot of people who say, okay, if you cheat, well, I'm going to go out and cheat. It doesn't make a right. It doesn't make a right. But somehow you can forgive a person if they have cheated once. But don't be no fool. Mm. Don't mm. be no fool. But you can, you can get, I feel that you can forgive that person for that one incident. I'm not going to say it was a mistake because you knew what you were doing. Yeah. One incident, you can probably forgive them if y'all work it out. Hold on, I'm in, I'm in line to go on. Okay. We're going to tell Burton to bring it on because he's always talking when somebody else talking. I'm going to get you, Burton. You see? I got him on mute. I got him on mute. I'm going to get you. Okay. Miss Pearl, would you finish? Chocolate Pearl, would you finish telling me? You say you are able to forgive that one time. Yeah. But that second time is all trickery. Yeah. It's a, you're a fool. If you, if you do it, if you do it, you know what you're doing in the first time. The first time you did it, you knew what you was doing. Okay. okay. I say, what no mistake. It was you didn't accidentally fall upon that person. You know what I mean? Um, All right. Two consenting you know adults. But I know that there are temptations, and and sometimes a lot of people can't help themselves. That's why I said that you work it out together mm -hmm. to, to help build that forgiveness. Yeah, I I believe you can do that. Okay. But. Two wrongs do not make a right. So you can, you should not go out and have an affair or get them back. I'm going to cheat because you cheat. It doesn't make a right. It does not make that right. So that's my Hey, mom. TJ, but two rights make a left. Two, two rights make a left, though. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's, there's three rights. Three rights. Three. Okay. Well, you know what? I hear what you're saying, Miss Pearl. And like you say, sometimes that little cheating mechanism is definitely not, not a mistake because everybody is conscious of what they're doing. And some people can really jump back in the swing, forgive and do all that good forgiveness thing. But I don't think no one ever really truly forget that it happened. So I'm going to roll over to Anson, and I know he's going to tell me something so serious. Remember what I said. Oh, Bill, Bill, you, you holding your hands up. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. I got you. But I'm coming Dr. back to you. Dr. Fabulous, I, just keep in mind, I said it wasn't a mistake because you know what you're doing. I right. A situation. Got it's you. A different. Like, like Ms. Tracy says, the way you word it, you know, words do matter. Right. <laughs> okay. Well, come on, Anson. I got Anson. Then I got Miss Millie. But where did he go? He done jumped off the board. He said he was. Oh, there he is. Okay, all right. Come Get on, Miss Millie. Before me. Get him. Before okay, me. but come, come on, Burton. I'm ready for you. I'm mute yourself and give me what you got. Put your hand down so I can see if you look like feel good. Black, you gotta unmute. You didn't call them black, did you? <laughs> that's that, that's hey, what we call it. Yo, yo, all right. First of all, I'm the older brother, Dr. Feelgood, Chocolate Pearl, and a few other people that's on this podcast right here. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going I'm to say like this. Like, sis, like Sissy said, you know, um, what indiscretion shouldn't break a relationship. It, it it's gonna take trust to get it back. It's gonna take it's gonna it's gonna take more trust than it did to get it back. You know, like, but if you invested, if I invested my time and my resources and and we was building something together. You can't get off the hook that easy. But you, you know, I would play devil's you, advocate with you. You can't get off the hook that easy. And, and here's my thing. Like okay. you said, two wrongs do not make a right. It doesn't. Okay. And I hear you, Burton. And it I never will. I definitely hear you. 
and, Whoa, like and, said, and, yeah. and, and, and tell that guy I said, if you make two rights, <laughs> two or, or two rights make you back where you was at, bro. Where you at, bro? He was talking to first cousin. Yeah. Okay. Whoever, first cousin, whoever said two rights, that was me. Right. Make the left. It's gonna whoever make you said get two back rights, to where you the started left, at. They got their shoes on wrong. <laughs> Ooh, okay, okay. Well, okay, Burton. Thank you for sharing that with me. But I was gonna play devil's advocate with you tonight, but play I'm not it. gonna do that because it, nah, it'll take play a it. show. Now nah, play tonight. it, play it. I don't you know, can I ain't gonna play. I ain't gonna play with you look, tonight. I'm gonna let you look, come back for the second time. Being that being that I'm the oldest, I probably mm -hmm. been through the most shit. So you could play devil advocate with me. Probably, probably, but I'm not you gonna know? stir it up. I ain't gonna stir it up tonight. I'm gonna get you. You when can you stir come it back, up. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna get to when you come back. Okay. I'm gonna slide on over here. All right. An answer. And then we got Kendra. Oh, All right. I'm sorry. It was Miss Millie, then answer. Come on, Miss Millie. I was just gonna say that um, um, Miss Chocolate Pearl said that we can forgive them once. Been there, done that. Now I'm zero tolerance because that once went to time after time after time, negative. I'm too old to play that game. I'm 5.3. It'll be 5.4 in me and Miss Dr. Fabulous birthday month. On 20 days from now, I'll be 5.4. All right, now. So, you mess up, you lose your shot. When you're shooting pool, if you miss that eight ball, the next shot, somebody else going to get it and you're going to lose. I so, agree, Miss Billy. I so agree. So, now, I just can't take that. Thank you. I can't take that time and play that game with nobody because as they say, with me being 5.3, I got most likely got more years behind me than in front of me. And I ain't gonna there say you no. go. If I'm gonna play a game, I can play them in my own house. There you go. Hey, Miss Millie, that's why I just got married at 56 years old. All right now. Congratulations. Like, that's your like first I'm, marriage. Like I'm done. And incidentally, the woman that I married, I've been chasing for 25 years. Wow. wow. So you've been well, cheating with be her for catch. 25 years off and on. For 25 like years. You've been dealing with her off and on for 25 years. Tell the truth and shame the devil. Mm -hmm. That's the, that's a fact. Mm -hmm. That is a fact. And I, I, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna shame the devil because that's what made me come back. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's what made well, you, me come back. Time and yeah. time again, that was where my heart and my life was at. Okay. All right. This time, don't cheat on them. That's right. That's right. Stay, stay in the pocket. Stay in the pocket. Now, listen, y'all. I almost feel like singing. It's a family affair. We in here, yo. On strong tonight, okay? All right. Um, yeah. Who is this? Anson, can I take fair before I take you? No problem. All right, come on, Galaxy um, A21. I can't see you, but I know you're there. You got your hand up. All right. All right. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Oh, oh damn. Doing good, younger that's sister. That, that's that Galaxy vibe. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> All doing? right. Okay, so I have a question. I don't know if it's the, a younger thing or anything, but I'm very petty. You cheat on me, I'm going to get you. Hmm. Maybe that's why I'm single now because that's probably that's probably a more young yeah. thing. I don't know if it is or not, but you cheat on me, yeah, I'm gonna get you. I'm very petty. I'm a Scorpio. Well, incidentally, I'm a Libra. Like the I heard big ups to Libra. I'm one of those. Now let me ask you, um, Fair, are you part of um Feel Goods family too? I'm yes, the youngest she is. girl. Ooh, I know Baby I'm about to say. <laughs> Baby <laughs> Okay. All right. Well, come on. Okay. Come on, Anson. I'm ready for you. All right. So the first the first question I have to the question is what is the wrong what is the wrong doing? What is the wrong doing? Well, yeah. if your girlfriend, if you had a girlfriend and she met razzle dazzle they went on a date and then they got intimate that same night that they went out and everything that's the wrong doing mm. all right well 
<clears throat> my first my first response to the question is it depends on, it depends on the wrongdoing, first of all, because <laughs> you know, some people should be and say talking to somebody else is wrong altogether. Good somebody answer, bro. Or something like that. So I had to make sure what, what the wrongdoing was. But doing something intimate with someone other than me, I'm not gonna deal with them no more. I don't see no point in getting revenge. Okay. That's, that's, to me, that's childish. I'm All not going right. to sit here and, and, and lessen myself to act like they did. Right. But okay. I just go, I just move on and go to somebody else. I get them that way. So, will you go, go home? Okay. Get, so, I you're I like Miss Millie. It's a one shot oh, deal. One and done. Well, yeah, because once, right. once you realize what the wrong doing uh, is, I'm not finna sit up here and do the same wrong. Okay. You know, why I do that? Like it don't make no it don't make no sense in in keeping that cycle going. Uh -huh. gotcha. I'd rather All just, right. just move on and mess with somebody else. I did it before. Gotcha. So um, I only got cheat on once. <laughs> I hear you. So I'm gonna go to Kendra, then Chocolate Pearl, and then I'm gonna turn it over to the family affair man tonight, Dr. Feel Good. So go ahead, Kendra, and hold on, Miss Pearl, and then we're going to turn it over to Dr. Feel Good. <clears throat> Hi, everybody. Um, I think it depends on um, the wrongdoing, whether or not I can um, forgive it. If it's a physical cheating wrongdoing, I think I'll be able to forgive that faster than I would if you are emotionally involved in someone else because that's a little deeper to me than the physical. Um, well, I don't, I don't I, think I'll ask you something, Kendra, sure. not to cut you off. How can you distinguish the two? So are you saying if your partner just had a one night stand with someone, it's okay. You could forgive them for that. But if he said, um, Kendra, I met this woman and I'm falling for her. Exactly. Oh, okay. To me, gotcha. that that's more of a um. That's that's that would hurt me more because they have a connection that's supposed to be mine. Mm. Okay. You okay. understand? Mm. So gotcha. I don't. Even, I don't even think you got to say I I met this woman and I'm falling for. Her. I think just ongoing communication. And there you the go. connection on the a connection spiritual period, level. Right. Yeah. Right. On a level that period would be a problem. Right. Beyonce has a song um called Resentment. And in it, she said, You gave her what was what should have been mine. And I agree with that. If you have that spiritual, um, emotional, mental, everything connection with another person, and we're supposed to be in a committed relationship. Mm -hmm. That's unforgivable to me because that means there's something lacking in our relationship that you had to go outside. The physical, everyone's human. Everyone has urges. You get one pass and I'm fine with that. I know that's not a popular opinion among the ladies, but I'm fine with that one discretion. But when you take it beyond the physical to my territory, to where I'm trying to build, that's the problem and that's unforgivable to me. Okay. Well, Makes thank sense. you, Kendra. That that was deep for me. Yeah, like I her. guess I guess that's that old selfishness in me. And everybody want to be a Libra or a Scorpio, but I'm an Aries and I'm real. Uh, Miss Millie. I'm an Aries real... too. I'm an Aries too. I'll get you. Believe me. Yes, baby. Yes. I'm an Aries. I'm an Aries. Aries. The only reason I said that I can't go back to allowing him to do it once because the 13, I was in a relationship for um 10 years and at least six or seven, see, we got to tell the truth. See, and the more we tell the truth, the things get out there. For at least six or seven of them years, he cheated. But you know, at first I did, a, um, at first I allowed it, but towards the end of the years, I'm like, hmm, what's good for the geese is good for the gander. And you start gandering, huh? Hmm. But I got so you. now, in order for me not to throw a rock, do the same thing, double back or double double the ante, I just don't even go for it. Right. There you go. Right. Because yeah, right. 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 Because at the end of the day, none of y'all even together. See that, like you say, at the end of the day, 
he go on his way, you go on your way, and y'all both now, did dirt. You know what I mean? This is true. But if I was to give that one word, he'll be here at this address. All right. But I so, mean, I want so to give that Ms. one Millie, word. can I ask you a question? Yes. Did that did that make you feel better? When I went and did what he was doing? Yeah. Yeah, for the moment it did. Why? It it, it made you feel better to hurt him, or did it make you I wasn't you trying feel to hurt better? him. It was about at that time it was about difference. me. It was about me. It wasn't even about him. By the time I let him did it so long, it wasn't even about him no more. It was about me. Okay. All right. I see we have a hand up. Um, Ms. Russell. Yeah, for me, you know, we're all products of our past. And it's like, and like Miss Millie, I've dealt with it before in another relationship. And I know how that tore me down. And it's really hard to rebuild that trust. Mm -hmm. So for me going forward, you know, it, it's, it's, it's game over. I just can't do it because I'm not willing to take myself back through the building blocks and the yeah. trust and all that thing, all those things to get me back in a good place. Mm -hmm. It's like, if you, if you destroy that, then I'm sorry, there's no rebuilding it. Mm -hmm. I agree. <laughs> okay. I don't know if everyone who has their hand up is still wanting to answer this question. Ms. Brian, you have your hand up. Are you answering yeah. a question? Okay. Um, back to the question at hand. And yes, fellow yeah, Aries women, it's our Aries season. Yes. Um, <laughs> definitely, I, I feel like I'm at a stage where I'm just not going to do it. Like, I, I don't know what it is. It might be that superior Aryan whole that thing Aryan. running through our vein. Yeah. Like, I just don't do it. And at the end of the day, I feel like I'm like more than enough. So whenever I just feel like one thing I don't do I don't do embarrassment like I'm I just feel like some level of embarrassment goes along with that like I'm one of those things like I'm not going to embarrass my partner and I'm not going to tolerate being embarrassed yeah, so yeah that that right there it's just a no and it's just that like it, it, yeah so that yeah so it's just something that I feel like at this age I'm just not, I'm just not tolerating it. And it's okay. I'm not going to be upset about it. I'm not a revenge person. And I like to tell everyone, I want everyone to be happy and live well, but just not necessarily at my table. So that's how I feel. I got you. Well, thank you so much. I'm going over to Miss Galaxy A21 one more time. And then I'm going to give it to Dr. Fielder. I must have had that juicy, juicy, juicy question. Cousin, first cousin, we can't get enough. Remember that song, Can't Get Enough of That Funky Stuff? I'm taking it all the way back. All right. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Can you hear me? Me, right? Right. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, all right. I, I know I said that I'm spiteful, but if I'm in a relationship <laughs> and I wholeheartedly love you and you cheat on me, I'm going to get you, but I'm going to accept you back eventually you will actually have to show me that you are honestly and truly apologetic and you it's not about saying i'm a person that you have to show and you have to show that you are genuine in your emotions towards me and otherwise i'm gonna be very petty and i'm gonna bring out the nice, so not so nice person, and I don't like anyone <clears throat> that person. So, in the beginning of relationship, I always tell these the person that I'm becoming close to, do to me what you want me to do to you, because if you do wrong to me, I'm going to turn you around and do things to you without any lubrication. And you're not gonna like. I heard that everyone she said without lubrication. So you all know what that means. So with that being said, I'm turning it all over. Now I see some new people that has come on. Sam too much, Danny, Godfrey, all are those cousins too feel good? <laughs> da Danny, Danny's my cousin. And Sam is my friend. Oh, okay. That's it's family, a takeover boy. tonight. It's a takeover. Okay. okay, well, go ahead, Dr. Feelgood. 
You got it. It's on you. Can I? Can I? Yes, Sam, you can. What you want? Give it to us. Sam, you look too this, relaxed, this, man. This, I got this. This, this, this forum, this forum is awesome, right? Okay. I appreciate and I, that. And I've been and I've been listening to what everybody say. First of all, hey everybody, how y'all doing? All right. And um my 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 view on the if somebody cheat and all that stuff is completely different, at least when it comes to my end of it. Cause see, I'm like single, right? You like single? But my single? thing is, huh? I say you like single, are you single? No, I am single. single. No, I'm oh, not okay. like single, I am single, okay. right? All but right, see, my right. thing is, right? I can talk to three or four women at one time, but I'm not cheating. Okay. And the reason why, I'm gonna tell you the reason why. Yes, sir. Because I yes, have sir. a habit of telling all my damn business. So you tell woman no, one, two, that. and three. I tell everything? woman. I tell woman one, two, and three exactly what I'm doing. And if no, any one of them, being honest, bro. And if any of them do not feel like that they should be in that situation, I get it. So gotcha. at the end of it. You may not like what I'm doing, but you respect the fact that I told you, and I don't wait to tell you later on. If you ask me, hey, you know, you got a girlfriend? Well, no, but I got a little woman that I talked to, yeah. Right. You got right. friends. Mm -hmm. you, right. So you tell them you got, got some friends that you chit-chatting with. Oh, no, I'm doing more than chit-chatting with them, most likely. You're single. Oh, you can do what you want to do. Yo, too much. Yo. you cutting up, Yo, Sam. But that's, that's straight honesty, though. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just straight like, up with I'm it. Yes, sir. I don't, oh. I don't, I don't sugarcoat it. I don't how do could, nothing. How could you go against that? And, and just like you, you know what it is, you fuck around or you don't. Oh. So like I've had, oh, yeah. I've had a woman. They double teaming me first, cousin. Come on and get me. No, I've, had, I've had a woman. I've had a woman tell me, "Hey, I'm totally in love with you." I'll, I'll be like, "I don't know why." <laughs> Why are you in love with me? I told you what the deal is and what I do. Don't don't get attached to me like that. Okay, and, and my reason, let me give you a reason why before I get into all this because I'm not acting like I'm the gigolo or I'm the Superman or whatever. I've been in two 10-year relationships in my life. So oh, most sorry, of my life, so, so most of my life, I've been in committed relationships. You ain't wasting so no more time, I've, brother. Right, so right now, at yes, this sir. time in my life, I've gotten to the point that I'm like, you know what? I'm enjoying myself for, for a while and I'm going yes, to back and I'm going to relax or whatever, you know, and, and, and I'm enjoying my life. And then when I'm ready to settle down again, you know, if somebody want me, then, you know, maybe they might want me. <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe, maybe I call Miss uh, uh, Chocolate Pearl and marry me something. I don't know. <laughs> you should know, bro. Chocolate Pearl. As you should. <laughs> Okay. Yes. <laughs> this has been that was a fabulous I'm, I'm clutching my pearls and I ain't even weighing on tonight listen I, I text her and I told her I said do you want me to talk or you don't want me to talk because she know how I am I've been on radio for years I say what I'm going to say and it's going to be what it is and I don't care okay. but I love this forum and I love what y'all talking about grown people talking, talking real I like the attitude of the Everybody. young sister there. If you do me, I'm gonna get you back. That's that, that that's you. But she won't have to worry about that with me because I'm gonna tell her at the beginning. This is right. what I do. Good luck. <laughs> okay. Well, with that being said, Sam, too much. I'm definitely giving this to Dr. Feel Good. Because honey, I have clutched my pearls, I done touched my head. I just had a whole spin. And I can't believe first cousin was gonna let him jump me like that, man. Well, Dr. Fellas, this is what happens when you ask these probing questions. Sometimes, <laughs> hey, you walk in the kitchen with gasoline poured on you, you gotta stand that heat. And, 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 <laughs> and Sam you know, and Bobby, they, they bought the heat tonight. I'm running so, it. It. so I'm gonna turn it on over to Dr. Feelgood and let him get some of this sensation.